Hi there. Back for some more? Wonderful. Thanks a lot for dropping by. Well, let's be honest. Some people just have that thing. They walk into a room and suddenly, it feels like the energy shifts. You catch yourself leaning in, listening more closely, watching their expressions like they're some kind of rare art piece. It's not always about looks. It's not about having the perfect face or a Hollywood smile. It's something else. Something invisible that pulls people in before they even say a word. And maybe you've even wondered, what is it? What makes some people instantly attractive? Why are we drawn to them before we know anything about them? Well, spoiler alert, it's not magic. It's science. And your brain is making decisions before your conscious mind even has time to process what's happening. Welcome back to Psych Bites, your go-to place for a deep dive into the psychology of love, attraction, and everything in between. If you've ever caught yourself thinking, why am I so into this person when I barely know them? Then congratulations, you've landed on the exact video you need. Because today, we're unpacking the science of instant attraction and what makes someone feel completely irresistible. Now tell me, have you ever felt an instant pull towards someone you couldn't explain? Was it the way they talked, the way they looked at you, or just the way they made you feel in the first 30 seconds? Drop your story in the comments. I'd love to hear what made someone completely unforgettable to you. Let's start with what your brain is doing in the first few seconds of meeting someone. Research from Helen Fisher, a biological anthropologist, shows that attraction is a neurochemical experience. When you find someone attractive, your brain releases a cocktail of chemicals, dopamine, norepinephrine, and oxytocin that create that rush of euphoria, excitement, and interest. Basically, your brain gets high on the idea of this person. Dopamine plays a major role here. It's the chemical responsible for desire, motivation, and pleasure. When someone catches your attention, dopamine tells your brain, this person can make me feel good. Pay attention. That's why your focus sharpens, your heartbeat picks up, and you can't stop thinking about them. But it doesn't end there. Your brain is also scanning for biological cues, things like facial symmetry, voice pitch, scent, and even posture. These cues are often processed subconsciously, but they're rooted in evolutionary biology. Let's talk about symmetry for a second. Numerous studies have shown that humans are naturally drawn to symmetrical faces. Why? Because symmetry is often a marker of genetic health and reproductive fitness. Even if you don't consciously notice it, your brain is working behind the scenes, whispering, this person might have strong genes, pay attention. But let's not pretend it's just about looks, because you've probably met someone who was objectively attractive, yet there was just nothing there. And then someone else, maybe not traditionally hot, walks in and you're instantly captivated. That's where behavioral cues come into play. One of the biggest factors in instant attraction is confidence. Not arrogance, not performative bravado, but genuine, grounded confidence. According to a study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, people who displayed secure body language, open posture, and a warm smile were consistently rated as more attractive, regardless of their physical appearance. Why? Because confidence signals safety, stability, and self-assuredness. It tells your brain, this person knows who they are. They're not a threat. They might even be a protector. And then there's eye contact. Ever had that moment where someone holds your gaze just a second longer than normal and suddenly your whole body feels like it's buzzing? That's not in your head. Eye contact stimulates the release of oxytocin, the bonding hormone. It creates a sense of intimacy, even with strangers. In fact, a famous study by psychologist Arthur Aaron found that two strangers who stared into each other's eyes for four uninterrupted minutes felt an intense sense of closeness. Some even reported falling in love. Wild, right? And don't underestimate the power of voice. Research shows that we're biologically wired to respond to certain vocal qualities. For example, men tend to be attracted to higher-pitched female voices, which are associated with youth and fertility, while women often prefer deeper male voices, which signal maturity and testosterone. But beyond pitch, it's about tone, cadence, and warmth. A calm, expressive voice can make someone instantly more appealing because it communicates emotional intelligence and attunement, two deeply attractive traits. Now let's talk about humor, because it's a big one. 
Multiple studies confirm that people who can make others laugh, or even just appreciate humor, are seen as more attractive. And it's not just about cracking jokes, it's about timing, playfulness, and shared perspective. Humor shows that someone is socially intelligent, flexible in thinking, and emotionally approachable. It also stimulates dopamine, which again, feeds into the pleasure reward system in your brain. But here's the twist. Being irresistible is often less about what someone looks like and more about how they make you feel. According to research from the University of California, emotional responsiveness, the ability to truly listen, validate, and engage is a huge factor in attraction. If someone makes you feel seen, heard, and emotionally safe within moments of meeting them, that's a rare kind of magic. Your brain lights up because it detects possibility, the potential for comfort, connection, even partnership. Let's also not forget mimicry, which might sound a little weird, but stay with me. When two people are vibing, they start mirroring each other's body language, crossing their legs the same way, sipping their drinks at the same time, leaning in together. This phenomenon is called the chameleon effect, and it creates a subconscious sense of harmony. Your brain sees that and thinks, we're in sync, this feels good. And then there's scarcity. The less available someone seems, the more we tend to want them, at least initially. This ties into psychological reactance theory, which says that when we feel something is out of reach or scarce, we assign it higher value. If someone is confident and not overly eager for validation, they're perceived as more desirable because they seem to have options. So let's recap what's really going on here. That instant spark? It's your brain doing some wildly complex math behind the scenes. It's evaluating voice, scent, posture, expression, emotional cues, humor, confidence, and how all of those things match your internal template of desire, which has been shaped by your life experiences, childhood, culture, and subconscious preferences. There's also this fascinating idea called sexual imprinting. It suggests that our first powerful experiences with love or desire literally shape who we find attractive in the future. That's why some people always seem to fall for the same type. Your brain is trying to recreate that initial spark, even if it wasn't healthy. If you want to see a video from our channel delving deeper into this topic, why you are attracted to people with certain qualities, do people really have a type? Drop a comment saying, yes, sure. So, what makes someone irresistible? It's chemistry, yes, but it's also neurology, evolution, and social behavior. And while we often think attraction is a mysterious force, it's actually a series of finely tuned psychological mechanisms working together to detect who might be a good match, emotionally, genetically, and socially. And here's the part that's really empowering. While you can't fake true chemistry, you can embody many of the qualities that spark it in others. Warmth, presence, confidence, emotional intelligence. These are attractive not just because they look good, but because they feel good. And hey, if you're curious about whether someone secretly has a crush on you, make sure to watch our video on six science-backed signs someone has a secret crush on you. Because sometimes, attraction isn't just something you feel, it's something you can see once you know what to look for. Click to watch that video next on Psych Bites. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you never miss your dose of real psychology-based dating and relationship insights. See you in the next one.